Let's meet the newest members of the Fighting Texas Aggie football team. Here are the 2010 signees. We start with the offense and the wide receivers. Introducing Nate Askew, a receiver from San Antonio Madison High School. This 6'4 pass catcher from the Alamo City showcased his game-changing abilities by racking up almost 1,800 receiving yards in his final two seasons. His tremendous leaping ability and always dependable hands made him the go-to wide out for the Mavericks. He was recognized for his career achievements by being selected to compete in this year's U.S. Army All-American Bowl. Malcolm Kennedy, a six-foot receiver threat from Cayuga, Texas. In his junior season, Kennedy went for over 1,000 yards of total offense from the wide receiver position before switching to quarterback as a senior. There, he gained over 3,872 yards of offense, scoring 31 touchdowns while leading his Wildcats to a Texas State Championship. Now to the running backs. A 5'11 running back from Denison High School, DJ Jones. His junior and senior years combined saw him rush for just shy of 6,000 yards. This bruising back is no stranger to the end zone as he found pay dirt 65 times in 08 and 09. Jones earned his way onto the Texas Class 4A All-State first team his junior year, followed by a Class 4A second team selection as a senior. He is listed as the 27th best running back in the nation, according to Rivals.com. Mr. Jones, a 6'2 running back from Littleton, Colorado. 26 games as a member of his varsity team. Jones ran for over 3,700 yards and scored 45 touchdowns. His senior season saw him rush for over 1,300 yards and earned Colorado Class 4A All-State honors. His unique blend of size and speed made him a legitimate short yardage and home run threat. Having been timed at an 11 flat in the 100 yard dash, Jones is listed as the number five overall player in the state of Colorado. Ben Molina, a 5'9 running back from Cedar Hill, Texas, in an impressive junior campaign. Molina carried the ball for 2,202 yards and scored 35 touchdowns, averaging 6.8 yards per carry. He also displayed the ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, pulling in 21 receptions for 283 yards and two more TDs. Injury-plagued senior season cut his carries down significantly, but his 6.7 yards per carry are still strong enough to earn him seven 5A All-District honors. Molina is listed as the 25th best running back in the nation, according to Rivals. Here are the newest Aggie quarterbacks. A 6'3 signal caller from Dickinson High School, Clay Honeycutt. As a varsity quarterback, Clay threw for over 3,900 career yards, completed 33 touchdown passes. In his senior season, he completed 54.3% of his passes and rushed for just shy of 1,000 yards while earning his place on the District 24 Class 5A All-District Team. Honeycutt graduated in December and is currently enrolled in his first semester at A&M. Clay's father, Lynn, was a two-time letter winner for the Aggies in 1978 and 79. Matt Jokel, a 6'4 quarterback from Arlington High School. In Jokel's stellar junior and senior seasons, he threw for a combined 6,162 yards and 69 touchdowns. His senior year also saw him rush the ball for 733 yards and 12 more scores, all the while being named District 4 5A's Offensive Player of the Year. All in all, Jokel scored a grand total of 558 points in time as the Colts signal caller. Jokel is listed as the 29th best quarterback in the nation on rivals, and like Honeycutt is already enrolled in his first semester at AM. Jameel Showers, a 6'1 QB from Shoemaker High School in Colleen. Showers unfortunately missed out on his senior season due to injury, but his junior year proved why he deserves to be mentioned among the nation's best. He passed for over 2,100 yards and rushed for 513 more, threw for 22 touchdowns, and earned Class 5A honorable mention All-State honors. Rivals.com ranks Showers as the 27th best QB prospect in America and is considered by his peers to be a natural leader on the field. Showers joins both Honeycutt and Jokel as early enrollees this semester. Here are the men up front, the O-linemen. Garrett Gramling, a 6'6", 325-pound offensive lineman from Denton Ryan. During his junior season, Gramling established himself as one of the state's most physically dominant O-line 
prospects, grading out at 90% and accumulating 23 pancake blocks and 30 knockdowns. His senior season was even more impressive as he graded out at a whopping 94% with 43 pancakes and zero sacks allowed and 475 pass attempts. His efforts earned him a spot on the Texas Class 4A All-State team. Luke Jokel, a 6'6", 280-pound offensive lineman from Arlington High School, originally a QB himself, he later found a home on the O-line, protecting twin brother Matt from opposing defenses. In his senior season, Luke anchored an O-line that helped Arlington average 474 yards per game. Postseason accolades were sure to follow as Jokel was named Class 5A second team All-State and first team All-Dallas area by the Dallas Morning News. As the 83rd ranked player in the ESPNU 150, Luke was selected to compete in the Under Armour All-American game. Shep Klink, a 6'7", 290-pound lineman from Katy High School coming out of a program with a great winning tradition, Klink consistently proved why he is one of the best OL prospects in the nation. In his senior season, Big Shep earned his way onto the Houston Chronicles All-Greater Houston team, and his Tiger team continued their winning ways, once again making it to the state title game. He is listed as the 16th best offensive tackle in the nation on Rivals.com. Jake Matthews, a 6'5 lineman from Elkins High School in Missouri City, Texas. The name sound familiar? It should be the brother of former A&M center Kevin Matthews and the son of NFL Hall of Famer Bruce Matthews. But make no mistake about it, Jake has earned his own outstanding reputation on the football field. In his senior season, he recorded 36 pancake blocks and was named to the Houston Chronicles All-Greater Houston team and was selected to play in this year's U.S. Army All-American Bowl and is listed as the seventh best offensive tackle in the nation. Cedric Abui a 6'5 offensive lineman from Allen, Texas. Abui possesses an athleticism rarely seen amongst men his size, and his sheer numbers prove why he is one of the best blockers in the U.S. In his junior and senior seasons combined, he recorded 94 knockdowns and even more impressive 95 pancake blocks. In his time in an Allen uniform, he was named Class 5A All-State Honors in 08 and second team All-State in 09. Abui is ranked as the 13th best offensive tackle in the nation on Rivals.com and played alongside Nate Askew and Jake Matthews in the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. Those are your 2010 offensive signees for the Fighting Texas Aggies.